I recently came across this New York Times article on the Einstein tile that I found quite interesting. The article left me hungry for a little more, so I followed it up with a YouTube search that brought me to the Up and Adam channel where Jade has a great video on the subject. And before I knew it, I was in the rabbit hole. I won't go deep into the geometry and how it works because Jade does an excellent job explaining it in her video and I'll link her video below. But from what I understand, there was a 50 year search for a single tile that can tile a plane in a non-periodic fashion, meaning the patterns created by the tiling don't repeat. In this video, I want to look at how we can design this tile in Fusion 360 and I'll show you some useful techniques with the move tool. The version we're going to look at has been named the hat tile because, well, it looks like a hat. I actually covered this lesson last week in my weekly Fusion 360 live class. This is an online class where we meet weekly over Zoom and I help you with your Fusion 360 questions and designs. I'm currently running a promotion, so if this is something you'd be interested in joining, check out the link below. All right, let's jump right in. Okay, here's our hat tile that we're going to create. And if you look closely, you can see that this hat tile is made up of these smaller kite tiles. And these smaller kite tiles are made up of these triangles. And if we take an even closer look, we can see that this, these um, four tiles here, if we were to continue that pattern, we would see that we've got a hexagon here. So that's six kites that make up this hexagon. And if we just take this tile, kind of move that here, uh, move one over here and then create two additional ones here, we'll have our hat shape. So <laughs> that's kind of the approach I'm gonna take here. So let's jump into Fusion and see how to approach that. I'm gonna begin by creating a sketch on the XY plane. We're gonna come in with a polygon. So here we're gonna go to create polygon, circumscribe polygon, start right at our origin. Uh, this is going to be six sided, so we're going to make a hexagon. And let me just give it a radius of 25 millimeters here. And then I'll take that top edge and constrain it with a horizontal constraint. I'm going to move the dimension off to the side here so we can come in with a line tool. I'm going to grab a line from the center here, straight up to the midpoint there, you see that triangle constraint there. I'm going to do the same thing from the origin to the middle of this line here. Again, finding that midpoint constraint. And I've got one kite there that I can now begin to build this. Now here I've got some options. I can take this one kite shape here and create a circular pattern to create six of these profiles within the uh, sketch environment. Um, however, instead of doing that, I'm going to finish this sketch. I'm going to select that profile and extrude it five millimeters to give me one body. It's going to be better here to take that one body and create a circular pattern from that rather than doing it at the sketch level. So we'll go to create down to pattern, circular pattern. I'm going to select my body, make sure object type is set to bodies. My axis of rotation is going to be my Z axis there. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to go ahead and increase the quantity here to six. Okay, and the nice thing about that is it gives me six individual bodies instead of, uh, you know, one body there. So now I've got these six bodies that I can just simply move around to create my hat. So let me bring that image here again. And we can see, as I was pointing out before, this section here, you know, is what I have right here. And so the first thing I want to do is create this tile here. And so what I can do is I can see that this tile here, it's actually in the same orientation that uh, I want it to be over here. Let me move this out the way here. Um, so if I take that and I keep that same orientation and I bring it here, um, that'll begin to build this out. So let's go ahead and do that. And before I proceed, I should actually mention that this lesson is really going to be a lesson on moving bodies versus moving components. And I'm going to show both ways. We'll use bodies to create our overall hat tile. And then once we have our hat tile, I'm going to show you how we're going to convert it into components and use our joint tool to pattern our tiles. Okay, so we'll stick with bodies for now. I'm going to right click and go to move copy. I'm going to click to select my body here, move object to set to bodies. I'm going to go to free move. I'm going to grab this little widget here, the little uh, the square icon there, and just move it over here. 
Now, again, it is in the same orientation that I need it to be, so I don't have to rotate it. I just need it to move to align this edge and to line up with this edge here. So I'm going to select my point to point. And here I can either choose, you know, this corner or this corner here. Let me orbit and just grab that point and say I want that point to move over here and click OK. And there we have it. That takes care of that first tile there, moved right into place. OK, next, let's go ahead and take this tile here. And I want this tile to move over here. But I do want it to rotate so that this edge here is lined up with this edge here. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, I'll approach it the same way. Right click, move, copy, select my tile and go to free move. I'm going to grab it by the little square here, drag it. And now I'm going to take my rotation widget here and rotate it. Um, but you, you'll see the center here of my widget. That would be the center of rotation. So if I start to move that, it'll move around that center. I want to move it so that it'll pivot in the middle of the body here. So to do that, I'm going to go to set pivot and then click anywhere here in the middle. I'm just going to roughly estimate the center. Go back and click that green check mark. And now when I begin to rotate it, you can see it rotates about uh, where I put that point. And here, the important thing to remember is this is going to want to rotate in angles of 60 degrees, so multiples of 60. Um, so here, I know if I get it close to where kind of I want it to be, and I'll look at the number and I'll say, okay, well, that's going to end up be, you know, either being 60 or 120, so, and it'll snap to 120. So I'll make sure to stop it right at 120. All right, now that I have the angle correct, I'll go to point to point. I'm going to say move this point here, the top point to this top point here, and that brings it right into place. Okay, perfect. We have these two sections in place, and the next one we need to create is this one and then this one here. So let's look at how we're going to do that. Okay, so I need a tile to come in like this. And here, instead of moving another tile into place, if I take a close look here, I can see that if I take this tile and just rotate a copy, I can get it to come in, pivot around this point right here, and I should be able to create a copy and have it land exactly where I want. So let's try that. I'm gonna right click Go to move copy, select my tile, and here instead of the free move, I'm going to go to rotate, and it's going to ask me for my uh, axis of rotation. For that, I'm going to choose this as the hinge. All right, now watch this. If I just take this little widget and start rotating it, I'm going to want to go here. Let's keep going. All right, so here I can see. 120 it looks like it's going to match up right again to 120 so we'll do that and you want to make sure to click create copy here so it brings in a copy of that there we go and we've got one more tile to make and that's this tile here and that tile is going to go right here and if we take a look at that we can see that that would simply be a mirror of this tile here so if i take this tile and just kind of flip it over that would give me exactly what I need. So to do that, we'll go to create, down to mirror. I'm gonna select my tile, come in with a mirror plane as this face right here. And I'm gonna go with new body here, click okay. And there we have it. So perfect, I was able to create my hat tile here simply by creating a hexagon, splitting it into one tile and just moved my tiles around to get me this shape. And you can see here, I still have all my individual tiles here separated into bodies. I'm going to end it here for now, but in the next video, I'm going to show how we're going to take these separate bodies, combine them into one body, and then convert that one body to a component, and then create multiple components here where we've got our separate tiles here. And then I can simply kind of drag them into place and use our joints command to be able to uh, create our tiling here. So... Um, stay tuned for that. That's going to be in the next video.
If you have any questions on the approach I took today, leave it in the comments below. I will be uploading the Fusion 360 files to my Patreon page. So if you want access to those files or and if you want to just support my channel, um, consider becoming a Patreon. All right, check out the links I have below to some of my online courses and other resources if you'd like to learn more about Fusion 360. I will see you soon.